for our last show, we're going to Cannes to check out some of the winners from advertising's annual Global Love-In. We'll start with the ad that beat 28,000 others this year to be voted the best in the world. Collins has really let himself go. <laughs> that ad was launched on British TV, but it was online where it made its biggest mark. A viral video shared by millions. It's a favourite in the Gruen office. Todd, why does it work? The official line from the clients and from the agency is that it portrays uh, the joy of eating chocolate. But I think why it really works is that it's so unexpected and thoroughly entertaining for the whole time it's on and the attention to detail is amazing. What's interesting about this ad is so often ad agencies and clients get caught up in endless research and strategy meetings and we're so consumed with making consumers think something as opposed to feel something and that's what's great about this ad. It's written with a lot of EQ as opposed to IQ. Cadbury has always been you know, the, a preeminent chocolate in the UK but it just fallen away ever so slightly. This strategy is a disruption strategy is what it would be called. Well so it did come off the back of them having a sal salmonella scare exactly. with their product in the UK. Is okay. that a specific set of circumstance where they, they would be willing to try something different? My, they would have known that there was a need to disrupt the market and to re-engage the market. Um, and the way to do that is to do something completely and utterly and massively different. Um, I'm not sure whose idea it would have been to have the purple background. It may well have been the client who said, this is out there, can I just have a purple background so I feel a bit safer? Colour um, actually drives emotion. You know, psychiatric wards have those nice minty walls to calm you down. Mm. And that's because um, emotion is one of the most important factors in, de in making decisions, apparently. There's a bit of science behind it. So it's a, colour's a really powerful marketing tool. Mm -hmm. And um, man, it just shows we use this stuff on every level. And it does work, because even looking yeah. at your top tonight, I want to go and see so the I boy from Oz with Peter Allen in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, and if you play that ad backwards, it says, buy shitloads, buy shitloads. <laughs> You're the only guy looking it. at Bridget and thinking of Peter Allen. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> 39-year-old Garen Michael, Hollywood's top primate impersonator, a man who has suited up for Congo and Planet of the Apes, was inside the 25-kilo outfit. It took six months to make and is covered in hand-stitched yak fur. Two puppeteers steered the facial movements by remote control. Now, it's obviously a great ad, but uh, Dan, does a great ad mean great sales? Well, look, there's been a lot of research into this, and probably the most um, famous piece of research is, is the gun report. And basically, sometime in the mid-90s, they started measuring uh, the most award-winning ads from all around the world. And that what they found was about 86% of the most award-winning ads were linked to marketplace success. And 86% is a good rate. Heart surgeons don't hit 86%. So creativity isn't a luxury. It's, it's a commercial imperative.